Hi guys, welcome to our very first video on our new channel. My name is Robert and this is Laura, my wife, and together we are the Suburban Preppers. Yes, we are. So we're based over here in the UK. Um, I know a lot of the online prepping community is based in America, but we're not. So but I think a lot of it's coming to the UK now. Yeah, well, I think it's gone more mainstream all over the world. Yeah, so um, we're mainly preparing now for small term interruptions i know some people are preparing for like the end of the world and um, for Whoa. putin <laughs> dropping nuclear bombs yeah zombies whatever you name it and that's not us um it's not to say that we're right and you're wrong nobody knows what the future holds um we've just assessed what risks we think are there and based it on that um so like i say we're planning for a small scale interruption in life something where he's three to four days, maybe is a week maximum before things either go back to normal or, or you know, near enough back to normal. Um, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's even up to a, a month tops. A few days of babies not being able to get to the yeah, shops. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, like I say, so there's, there's me and Laura. Uh, we've got two children, although our daughter is pregnant, so we're due to have a grandchild quite soon. Um, and on top of that, we've got four dogs. Well, three, and my daughter's got a dog. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, three dogs and one grand puppy. Yeah. So, um, over to Laura for the next bit. So, basically, Robert used to be part of an online prepping community, um, yeah. which is something I didn't believe in. He watched all the programs um, with the American people who were prepping for, like he says, things like end of the world scenarios mm. and teaching the, the kids to do self-defense and things like that and i just personally didn't wasn't interested in it um yeah and then uh something called covid <laughs> came along yeah yeah and uh, we couldn't get any toilet paper so or, or anything or yeah anything yeah yeah but toilet paper was a the big eye the opener for you thing, wasn't it yeah, yeah. well i mean uh, We've always kind of bought the, the larger packs of toilet rolls anyway. Yeah. Um, but when we heard there was kind of a shortage, we, we looked to see what we had left. We only had two or three rolls left, um, which in our house is about two or three days worth. Yeah. The kids seem to eat it. <laughs> um, so we thought, well, we'd, we'd best get the shop and get some anyway if there yeah. is going to be shortages. Because so, yeah. I think you went on Facebook and... Yeah, we'd seen the videos of people and, fighting yeah. in Australia, literally fist fights uh, over toilet roll. Yeah. <laughs> so we um, went and... Yeah, and, and we couldn't get any either. <laughs> yeah. um, and again, we went uh, went grocery shopping. Um, we went, uh, there's a, a store near us. Uh, it's called the Food Warehouse um, for those in the UK. Um, it's, it's basically a big frozen goods grocery store um it's like a massive warehouse hence the name food warehouse every single freezer was empty it looked like it was a, a new building only it had been open for a good few years and it was really quite scary then yeah. to see absolutely nothing available whatsoever not even a, a, a packet of frozen vegetables a, a tin of beans a bag of pasta yeah, there was just nothing. nothing whatsoever um and on the the plus side of that it, it convinced laura that actually things can happen and we do need to prepare for I mean, kind of the worst i kind of suppose we had kind of started maybe it's not prepping as such but we had a little store where we would keep tins of chickpeas and we would keep yeah tins so, of chopped tomatoes yeah and things that we used things. regularly we used to buy Buy in bulk oh, anyway, but and um, buy put an them extra in. Couple, yeah, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, but certainly not not to the scale of last month for a few weeks or so. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that kind of kind of convinced you that actually, yeah, we need yeah. to do something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so um, like I say, we're we're prepping for um a small interruption in normal day to day life. You know, maybe it's something like previously happened where. There was nothing available in the, the the grocery stores for for to get anything for a few days a week or whatever or perhaps there's a, a burst water main and we can't get tap water or anything like that another example was when we had really bad weather it was called the beast from the east 
Yeah. Um, um, I think we had... For those that aren't in the UK, um, everywhere else, like America, Canada, uh, Northern Europe, you know, you just deal with eight-foot snow drifts. No bother whatsoever. Yeah. If we get half an inch of snow, our country shuts down. So, um, still, yeah. Yeah. so this beast from the east, as it was known as, um, it was temperatures of about minus 10 degrees centigrade for about two weeks or so. Um, yeah. And certainly in, in our times, it's been unheard of. Um, yeah, um, so like I say, the, the local authorities were useless. Um, the schools closed. Yeah, life kind of stopped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so... That kind of convinced her as well that we needed a little bit extra available on hand so we didn't need to go out. Yeah. Um, and then there's obviously other things, you know, like small scale interruptions to the utilities. I, I mentioned water before, but, um, you know, power cuts, the, the mains gas or whatever. So, so, yeah, so that's about it for this video. So um, we'll just kind of keep it short and sweet. Um, and say thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye. Bye.